This is a 2025 Chevy Suburban LT and it's rocking a refreshed exterior and a new interior. I borrowed this one from Jerry Signer Chevrolet here in Salt Lake City. It is available. Let's go ahead and check out the window sticker so you guys see some of the features on this build. Currently right now they don't have the window sticker available for the Suburbans, but the price on this one's going to be $72,405. And the Philly Comedy numbers are right here. Now, if you go online and build one, there's a few packages that you guys will see. One that I probably would recommend is the technology package because it gives you the rear camera mirror and heads up display. They also have another package down below called the sun and tow package, which gives you the panoramic power sunroof, hill descent and integrated trailer brake. Lastly, there's a comfort package that I probably would probably add on this one because it gives you the memory settings, power third row bench, and then power second row bench seat. The biggest change on the Suburban is probably going to be the headlights. I think that's what most people are going to see got redone. And they're going to be full LED, high and low beam. They give you a Chevy badge right there. Nice little attention to detail. And they do have animation. So if you unlock the Suburban, watch what happens. It's a pretty cool little dance that they give you front parking sensors there is a camera on the front end which gives you that hd surround view active grill shutters right there i don't see that this one has the adaptive cruise control however but we will check that on the inside there is a flow through on the front too that goes through the wheel well here fabric material for the liner inside of there too and this is why the suburban rides so good double wishbone suspension you have a coilover set up for your shocks and your coils there and there is some strengthening down below now if you're looking at a traverse it wouldn't have a double wishbone suspension like this and that's kind of why this thing rides so good it gives you better comfort better stability on the road going around curves and check out that hood that's pretty much a carryover from the 2024s 18 inch wheel and the cool thing about chevy is they give you a ton of wheel designs that you can get if you're ordering your Suburban. So if you want a 22 inch wheel or a 20 inch wheel that is available, I think they have a black wheel too, which would look really good on this one. Michelin tires, and these are a 265, 65, 18, six lug, four piston brakes, and these are the Primacy LTXs. And you guys see right here how they stamp a design there to kind of give you an appearance of a fender flare and let's step all the way back so you guys can see the side view now from the side you can't really tell that this thing has been refreshed there is a chrome package that you can add to which gives you the 22 inch wheels and it would make this chrome as well LED lights and blind spot monitoring smart key for the front rear doors Fixed running boards with a little bit of chrome down below and more chrome on those roof racks there. And here is one of your antennas. Look kind of different from what I've seen in the past. Out back, here's a quick look at your suspension. It's going to be independent, which again is going to help make this thing ride really good. And up front is an independent suspension too. Now they do give you like a donut style spare tire, no matching tire at all either. Out back they do give you the parking sensors on the side. Did they give you one on the side on the front end too? Oh yeah they do. So for some people who aren't great at pulling in the garage, they give you that added safety pulling in there so you don't damage your garage or your SUV. More cameras right there. And look at the design around the windows too, a little bit of like this polished look too. And then the tail lights have a new design. I'll show you guys the uh, animations here. And when you turn on the turn signals, it's gonna do the same thing as well. Now, if you don't remember, last year they didn't have LED tail lights. So that's an upgrade for this model year. You guys see more of the parking sensors, they do hide the hitch, more cameras, and they do provide a sprayer to clean it off. And they still hide the windshield wiper, which I like. And they do clear out this high mount light. And this is gonna be power. So as you can see, 
it already comes well equipped and this one has the power seats out back too it's nice tons of storage here tie downs they don't give you any lights on the rear uh, lift gate which I like to see personally however they do give you a 120 volt power plug in the rear below this floor some storage and they give you a type C USB one there the one on that side and I will crawl back here in a little bit show you guys what they have there is a button that you can push and the handle and then here's just a side view now I wonder what powertrains are available for the LT let's find out this 5.3 liter is going to be the standard engine for 2025 for LT trim levels now 355 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque may not seem like much but this engine still puts the power down pretty nice, especially with all that power going through a 10-speed transmission. Has a 323 axle ratio out back, by the way. And if you don't feel as though you want to spend more at the pump with this V8, they do have a diesel, and they did the Gen 2, or really it's the LM2 diesel for this model year. So you can now get more horsepower and torque and a little bit more overbuilt engine. One thing you have to remember is this is one step above base model. So you still have the LS and the LT is just a step up from that trim level. But check out the wood trimming right here. You have some of that satin finishing on the interior too. Some piano black, more satin, seat memories right there and power folding outside mirrors. All power, auto up and down for the front windows, auto down for the rear. And a little bit of storage inside the door too. Bottle holder right there down below. They give you a Chevrolet badge right there. 10-way driver's side seat. And here are some of your controls. You have some drive modes, off-road mode right here, and they have automatic four-wheel drive. This is gonna be for all your lighting. You have your lane keep assist, parking sensors can be disabled, auto stop start can be disabled, traction control can be turned off parking sensors and then your 360 camera electronic parking brake more soft touch and it looks really nice on this dash too let's go ahead and check out the passenger side so here's that door 10-way seat on this side as well they do provide a grab handle only on this side not the driver side and again really nice soft touch right here some people always ask me why does that matter well if you're spending this kind of money it kind of goes without saying you should update the interior as much as you can to make it look and feel nice you do have an availability for heads-up display as an option some more of that stitching down here and then here's that glove box a little bit of storage on the side soft touch here and let's go ahead and check out the back out back you obviously have a lot of nice features in the rear i like that they give you this chevrolet kick plate but i'm going to complain just a little bit no curtains and i like the fact that you can get the eight passenger some people don't really like the captain's chairs you guys see right there outboard heated seats usbs 120 volt power plugs so you have two that you've seen so far and this does have three zone climate control Cup holders right there, seat back pockets. Now, I like to see a 40, 40, and then in the center here, 20. But this basically is 60, 40, basically. If you wanna get out of the third row seat, there is a button right here that you can push, and it will basically push this seat down. And then you can pull this, or pull that up, and you can get out that way. So the only thing I don't like about it, see all that grease right there, right here, I know that if I was a kid, I'm going to touch that. That's the first thing I'm touching right there because it looks like it's something I shouldn't do. And when the seat is up, it doesn't return to the position that it was once in. I don't like that. So it should have a memory where it remembers where it's at. But out back, cup holders, a little bit of storage. And as you guys saw, those USBs. There are air vents on the roof. 
And I like the fact that they give you the black liner too. It looks nice with the interior LED lighting. And yeah, this is a 6040 bench. And listen, if no one is tall sitting in front of you, I could sit back here for a couple hours for sure. This is pretty comfortable. There's so much to show and not enough time. So we're gonna go through this kind of quickly, starting off with the gear selector. So they did change it for 2025. I guess people didn't like the dial that it has, like you had to push and pull, which I thought was nice. But on this new one, if you pull it towards you and hold it with the breakdown, puts it in neutral, you push there for park, you pull it towards you, pull down, puts it in drive, pull it towards you, push up, reverse, there's your 360 camera view. And here's the menu that they give you too. So let's go ahead and do overhead. You can also change to forward and back. If you go side view, you can go forward or back. And if you need to hitch up your trailer, you have that button there. And here's just some things you can actually change off too. So if you want to turn off the uh, top down, like if I go back out here, for example, go to overhead, you can turn off that bird's eye view. They call it top down though. And if you need one for your trailer, or you can just turn off the lines completely. Yeah, very intuitive, very easy to use. Now, on the Traverse, all the controls that you see right here, they put in the screen. So they did do something similar. So here's some of the things that you're gonna see in the screen. Your universal garage door opener for your gate or for your garage door is now in there too. So you can add a remote and it's probably a little bit easier to do it that way too. My favorite menu is right here. They give you your gauges. You can put some of these gauges over here by just hitting add to display uh, for the driver menu. And your trip information is also in here. So this is probably something that most people are gonna wanna see. So if you wanna put some of your trip information over there, you can set that up in the driver display right there. Now, one thing that GM's always been good at, and they're probably the best at it, is giving you the good controls outside the screen. They don't have to do that though, because this menu never goes away down below, but your heated seats are still inside of there. And if you wanna turn the fan up or down, it's all right there. If you wanna turn it off, you have that. Do a climate control. You guys see it has a wireless charger, two USBs right there, cup holders and then two more USBs. And this has a removable tray with deep storage right there. But overall, this interior is definitely a big improvement. I like the larger screen. Um, if you want on this screen, you have a lot of different menus that you can look at. You can do navigation right there. Of course, this has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto up top here for your vanity. They still give you that warm white light. And if you want to set up that lift gate, you have that option still. If you want to drop down the seats, you have those buttons. And lastly, uh, this is the last thing I'll show you guys, vanity on that side with the same color. Let's go ahead and check out the numbers on the door. One last thing worth mentioning, there is two interior colors. So if you don't like black, you do have a lighter one to choose from. Now on the door, you guys can see some of the numbers. You, if you can't, gross axle rating out front is going to be 3,800 pounds. The rear is 4,300 pounds. Gross vehicle weight rating is 7,700 pounds. The wheels are 18 by 8.5 wide. Here is the payload, 1,745 pounds. It shows a curb weight at 59.55, so this thing's pretty heavy. And then 7,500 pound towing. And then here is that uh, yellow sticker showing the tire pressure. It shows the payload at 1,744. And if you don't know what the GCWR is, it's gross combined weight rating, so that's truck and trailer, max at 14,000 pounds going down the road. This is gonna be a hit. The Suburban, Tahoe, they're both the best on the market, and they just got a little bit better. I think they have a lot of nice features that they're gonna be adding. And one thing I'll mention too, the LT is probably the perfect trim. And if you wanna spruce it up just a little bit, you do have those options, but you have to be careful because once you start adding a bunch of options, you almost probably can step up to the next trim level, like a Premier or even a Z71 if that's what you're into. But I hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to subscribe to your channel. I am planning on doing a video on an RST model, so you don't want to miss it. See you guys soon.